Hi guys, it's Maria from Little Knit and today I am going to show you how to knit this beautiful texture bonnet perfect for newborn baby boy um, for this project you need to know how to cast on how to knit and purl how to make three stitches in one knit stitch and uh, to decrease in round. Uh, first, the bonnet is knitted uh, back and forth until we reach 3.9 inches or 10 centimeters. Um, the first row of decreasing part is worked back and forth and then we join for decrease in the round. Um, this um, stitch pattern is actually a fake cable um, and uh, is a multiple of 4 plus 1 plus 6 stitches. Uh, for this project I will uh, use organic cotton yarn This is the yarn from Rosarios 4 for nature. It's organic certified by God. Very soft. It knits very well. And um, I will use a needles US4 for 3.5 millimeters. You can use any other yarn um, as long as the recommended gauge is this 20 stitches, 32 rows on needles US4 or 3.5 millimeters, uh, you will obtain this square of 10 centimeters or 3.93 inches. This is the gauge. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we need to cast on 59 stitches on uh, needles US4 or 3.5 millimeters. As I said, this pattern is a multiple of 4 plus 1 plus 6, multiple of 4 plus 7 if you want. And a four rows repetition. I cast on my 59 stitches. Now I will work the first row. The first row, uh, we knit three stitches border. I knit together with this tail for a couple of stitches. So this is the first stitch. The second and the third. So now we will work in pattern. First, purl one, knit three, one, two, three, purl one, knit three. This is our repetition. Until the end of the row, 
we will end with knee three. Curl one, knee three, curl one, knit three. Curl one, knit three. Curl one, knit three. Until the end of the row. I will come back and show you how we work row two. Row two, sleep the first stitch as if you purl, knit two, this is our border, then we will make multiple stitches in this first knit stitch. We will make three stitches in one stitch, back and forth, so knit one, Knit two in the back of the stitch and knit three. So we have three stitches in one stitch. Then curl three, and again in the knit uh, stitch, we make three stitches. Knit one, knit the second, and knit the third in the same stitch. See? Again, purl three, one, two, three. Make three here. One, two, and three, see, in the same stitch, purl three, one, two, three, again, make three stitches in the knitted stitch. One, two, and three. Again, purl three, one, two, and three. Make three in the next stitch. One, two, three. Curl three, one, two, three, until you reach the end of the row. So again, knit three stitches in one stitch, front and back and front again, curl three, one, two, three. Again, make one stitch, oh, three stitches, sorry, in one stitch. Curl three, one, two, three. Until you reach the end of the row. You will end up 
with um, knit three stitches in one row here and knit the last three stitches our border I will come back and show you how to work row three remember this is a four rows repetition so row three we will work the stitches how it appears first stitch slip as if you knit then knit two this is the border and now our repetition we have here three stitches that we increase in the second row we purl these three stitches so purl three then knit three Purl three, knit three. So we knit the knits, purl the pearls. Purl three, knit three. Three stitches border, then purl three, knit three, purl three, knit three, until we reach the end of the row. One more row, and you will see what easy and beautiful pattern is this. So, until the end of the row. Purl three, knit three, I will come back and show you how to work our last row repetition for this fake cable pattern. We are at the row four the row four is like this very easy to make so slip the first stitch knit the next two stitches our three stitches border then work in pattern like this here we have three knit stitches knit these three stitches together like this then purl three again knit three together insert through the through these three stitches and make one stitch purl through the three knit three together Purl three, one, two, three, knit three together. 
pearl. Three, one, two, three, knit, three stitches together. Pearl, three, one, two, three, knit three stitches together. Pearl, three, one, two, three. See how this fake cable has formed? Knit three stitches together. Pearl, three, one, two, three. Knit three stitches together. Pearl, three, one, two, three. And knit three stitches together until you reach the end of the row. After this row, I will explain you how we work our bonnet after this four row. Okay, so we knit we knitted our um, four rows repetition. Now we need to repeat these four rows five more times. See, these are our first four rows and we need to make five more repetition of these four rows one two three four five in total we will have six repetition of these four rows so remember the row one, which is the wrong side, knit three, and then our repetition, purl three, knit three, until the end of the row. For row two, the right side, knit three, make three stitches in one, purl three, until the last four stitches, then make three stitches in one stitch, and knit three. Row three, knit three, and the repetition is purl three, knit three, until the end of the row. And the last row of our repetition is row four. We will start by knitting three stitches on row four, then our repetition, knit three together, purl three, until we reach the last six stitches, then knit three together, knit three. This is the pattern, it's very easy. I will come back to you after my others five repetition to show you how to decrease for this bonnet. Okay, so I made my five <clears throat> repetition. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we will start to decrease our bonnet. The first row of the decrease 
I will knit back and forth. Let's see. We, we start by knitting eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we will knit two together. And this is how we knit until the end of the row. Actually, we will end uh, with nine stitches. And knit those nine stitches. So at the end of the row, we don't have decrease here. Again, knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now knit two together. Knit eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Knit two together. Again, knit eight, one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, and knit two together. Again, knit eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and knit two together. See? And these are my last nine stitches two four six seven yes nine stitches just knit without any decrease this was the first row the second row we will purl Three stitches border this is garter stitch garter stitch sorry so step one slip the first <laughs> knit two and purl until we reach our last three stitches then we will knit those last three stitches. I will come back to you to join in the round and to continue decreasing our newborn bonnet. Okay, so I've done my pearl row. Now we will start to decrease in the round. We will need Two more needles and we will knit like this I still slip the first stitch as if I knit then I need to knit six more stitches one two three four five six so now I have seven stitches. I knit six plus the one that I slip. I have seven stitches. Now knit two. One more time. Knit seven. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, and seven. And now knit two together. These are the stitches for my first needle. I will pick up my second needle and again knit seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And knit two together. One more time. Knit seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And knit two together. Just a second because I didn't catch this stitch very well. Okay. And knit two together. These are the stitches for the second needle. And my last needle. Same, knit seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and knit two together. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and our last knit two together now we take the first needle and join the next row we will just knit we'll tie the first stitch so you can close a little bit this gap here and knit until the end of our row. It's not that hard that hard to work in the round. I always work in the round no matter what I knit if it is a slipper or jammies or body sweet sweet or sleeves legs everything I knit in the round maybe because I don't like to sew We almost done with this row. This is the row four of our decreasing. I will show you one more row. Okay, row five of our decreasing is to knit six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then knit two together. Again, knit six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and knit two together until the end of the row this is the row five row six knit row seven knit five knit two together until the end of the row row eight knit row nine knit four knit two together until the end of the row row ten knit row eleven 
knit three, knit two together until the end of the row, row 12 knit and after the row 12 I will come back to you and show you how to end the decreasing part and then we will make a little border here and braided ties. So I finished row 12 of our decreasing. Now I have two more rows. So row um, 13, knit two, sorry for the noise, knit two, knit two together, knit two, knit two together. This is how we knit until the end of the row. So knit two, knit two together, knit two, knit two together and the last part of row 13 knit two knit two together knit two knit two together and the last row 14 the row 14 knit one knit two together knit one knit two together again knit one knit two together knit one knit two together almost done knit one knit two together knit one and knit two together so this is our decrease now we will cut the yarn and close the stitches i have Neither yarn here. We will pick up all the stitches from the three needles. I have four stitches on my first needle. I put aside the needle. Again, another four stitches on my second needle, put the needle aside, and my last needle and my last four stitches. So I have a total of 12 stitches at the end of the decreasing part. Let's sew this need, these uh, stitches by waving the yarn here and there, like this. One more time, and we will make two double knots, but on the wrong side, like this. We will turn, this is the wrong side, and we will make two knots to secure the yarn. We need double knots to make sure. Another one. This 
So now we cut the yarn. Okay, that's enough. We cut the yarn. I have a tail here from the first row. Cut these two. And now we will make a border this. Actually, we will use a crochet hook and we will make a slip stitch this row. Just slip stitch. But because I don't like the knots, I will leave a long tail because I will use this tail to our um, tie. So this is enough. We will attach, attach here in the corner. Sorry, here. Touch here the yarn. We will make a chain. And now we see this is, let me show you. This is, this is our stitch cast on stitch. I will insert the hook not in this part of the front but I will do it here. In here I will make all my slip stitch. See? In here not in, for, in the front. So we make our first slip stitch okay this is the stitch our second slip stitch Very easy. Very easy. And at the end, the front has a beautiful border. So slip stitch until the last of our stitch. use three millimeters uh, crochet hook it's a very old <laughs> crochet okay i will let you to sleep stitch until the end of the row I will come back to show you how I make my um, the ties for this bonnet. Okay, so I made my slip stitch row. I have one more stitch here. My last. And now I will I uh, will leave also a long tail here for our ties. And for the ties, I will cut more yarn. We 
can cut as long as you want depends on how long oh sorry how long the ties you prefer okay i have three strains I put them in the half and attach to this corner with this. And now I take these two This is my first. I will put my mannequin head in here. All you need is to divide in three. I have three here, two here, and two here. Leave it just aside and just braid. Very easy, nothing fancy. nothing hard to do almost done and then I will leave you to make the other one and then I will come back to show you the final form of the bonnet as, as I said it's an easy easy pattern to work and I really hope you will enjoy knitting this bonnet okay so I will come back and show you my uh, my bonnet okay so I got my two ties I will cut a little bit here and this is the yarn bonnet it has great texture I think it will fit very well, well baby boys let me show you the result so here it is our blue oh, yam bonnet this is our mint bonnet easy to make even if you are a beginner these are not blocked yet but I will do that thank you again for watching this video I hope you will enjoy um, to knit the yam bonnet uh, as I do and um, see you next time because uh, I have so so many um, patterns to to show you thank you